nasty memory leak. It's like if I hover over my add-on, it tells me how much RAM it's using. It's using 800 megabytes. I've seen it use up to two fucking gigabytes, which is unacceptable. Close tabs, the RAM allocation for keeping those pages open should not still be a thing. Yeah, but the thing is, I really don't want to switch to Chrome because Chrome doesn't have the fucking. shit that I want to use. Damn it. I would think about attack order if it was special. But it's not, so I won't. Brian's a good finishing move, if nothing else. I didn't even get one fucking step! Fuck you, hippo! Tiny hippo at that. and see what crashes. Seriously, doesn't me first steal the, uh, an attacking move? Why is me first failing all the time? Honestly, kind of confusing to me. It's not like I have an ability that prevents that. That I'm aware of. What is Leviathan's ability? I forget. Regenerator. <laughs> it's funny. Sai so said he's fallen asleep at his computer, but he just started playing Killing Floor. Sorry that my grinding bores you. <laughs> Though to be fair, it is the most boring fucking part of this game. And I have to do a lot of it because of my fucking new party members. I know there are still gigaliths in Stoutland here. Please let me spill their blood. Oh 
Almost there. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Really? Steamroll sucks. It's only got 65 power? I need to go buy some awakenings or full heals or something. Because I can't deal with Gigalith if I can't hurt Gigalith. Is there a Let me compare special attacks real quick. Wow. Slumber has the lowest special attack on my party. Why do I keep thinking that's gonna hurt? Coming from Stoutland. I'm really beginning to doubt Slumber's usefulness on this party. Or I just need to find a place that I can grind that has less physical defense. Because this is just silly. Does me first not have up priority? Is that the reason why it fails? Because Stoutland's got Rain Dish as its ability. Why is that? Why does that move fail? What the fuck is the point of it, then? You would think that would have at least plus one priority. Oh, I was in the Pokemon Center. 
Said I was gonna buy some shit that wake the stupid rhino up. Whatever the fuck kind of creature Hypno is supposed to be. And that is not the item I want. That's the item I want. I don't know, I'm kinda wish I could afford stuff too. I say having just bought uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day and Mystical Ninja from fucking Jen of Vine Sauce. I cannot fight Simis here. Oh, wow. So I got the lucky two hit KO anyway. I resist close combat. So that's a good thing. What's Con Calder's fourth move? Close combat, double slap, tackle. I don't think I've ever seen that fourth move. Oh, conversion two. I just bought Conker's Fur Day and Legend of Mystical Ninja for $150. Because that's roughly what they're going for on eBay. $100 for Conker, $50 for fucking Golem. one of the things I told her. It's like, uh, yeah, I don't have an Xbox 360, don't want one, and Live and Reloaded sucked anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Speaking of, you know, expensive shit in the market, GameStop's gonna start doing retro games again. Because they stopped around the time the PS3 came out. And, you know, Rich of Review Tech's like, oh, this is gonna pop a price bubble. I'm like, no, it's just gonna make shit worse because this is GameStop we're talking about. The cancer of the gaming industry. Aside from, you know, the gaming industry itself. High strike, spit up, magnitude. Damn, this Electabuzz cannot do anything to slumber. It just really sucks that the only place that I can 
really buy a whole lot of games from is fucking GameStop. Because, you know, there's not a whole lot of other places that I can go online to buy games. Except for maybe like eBay, in which case eBay is still fucking expensive. Uh, yeah, but you remember what happened when they uh, reprinted Xenoblade for Wii? GameStop got their hands on a couple hundred copies of it, and, and instead of selling it for the suggested retail $45, they were popping the cellophane off the case, popping the disc out, striking their finger across it, putting it back in. Oh, it's used. Who remembers that? I do. Do you really think someone's gonna go full on fucking Godfather? Okay, I'm glad that fucking Iron Tail crit because that would not have been a kill. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah, but they won't. GameStop will stop when e when EA becomes a good company again. <laughs> Which everyone knows that won't happen. Is that a nasty play? Yes, it was. I'm a firm believer in the fact that <clears throat> digital should be cheaper than physical. Yeah, you probably should. You'd be a lot happier that way. Fighting gem. Really wish I had a psychic type attack. Maybe like Psycho Card or something. This one could be easier to deal with. Not that they're not already easy to deal with. Yeah, the virtual console is a little overpriced. Ten bucks for an N64 game? I don't care if they, it was two of the best that you've got, that you had out on the market, Nintendo. Ten bucks is not a good price for Donkey Kong 64 Digital. Sorry. Same goes for Mario 64. Simmons here in the place of ex I think it's extra drill here. It would have to be. Oh well, no, it wouldn't have to be. Because again, keep similar strength is not checked. Uh. You shouldn't have to protect YouTubers, you're not their personal army. Again, you shouldn't have to do that. If they're a big enough YouTube channel, they should be able to stand up for themselves. Their viewership shouldn't go rabid and be their personal army.
That's just my take on it. Flame butt! I don't have burn heels! Motherfucker! Does Mr. Alton just have fucking full heels? Go outside of the fucking cave, moron! Yes. I might as well heal since I'm here. Why couldn't my hip now have guts or something useful? Congrats on giving up your stab, stupid. Slumber wants to learn disable. Hypno can learn disable normally. Zero out of ten, randomizer. God damn it, it's another Simus here. It's not worth the headache. Conversion two to water. Yeah, I actually have been at the one on PS3, and I also have it on Wii U thanks to coming with uh, Bayonetta 2. I have yet to play them, I might do them on stream at some point, just for shits and giggles. Alright, the experience is starting to fall off a bit. Do you have a Wii U? I, know, I heard it's just more of the same of Bayonetta 1. Just with more Nintendo stuff thrown into it. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing, but... Yeah. Oh, cool. Might have to send me a Nintendo ID, Nintendo Network request. Hopefully my uh, ID is obvious. <laughs> I hope. I haven't played 90% of my library yet. Which is kind of pathetic when you think about it. I'm not particularly a collector, otherwise I'd have 
fucking retro shit, too. made things worse. Yeah, I notice I play a lot of uh, the virtual console stuff on a lot of my stuff stuff most. It's like the last time I actually played something seriously on my Wii U was when I was playing Breath of Fire, which I just kind of stopped playing because Gobi's a piece of shit. And of course the game forces you to play a decent sized fucking segment with him. I actually think I'm a little bit beyond that part, but still, he's an obnoxious piece of shit. And I don't like him being in my party. Why do you have a cartridge without a console? <laughs> like, seriously, that's weird. that much that I'm already back to here. <laughs> well, I think I've already stated that I wasn't a fan of Secret of Evermore. I just didn't like it. Compared to Secret of Mana, you know, it just doesn't feel 